How's it going, viewers? Mr. Incredible Brody's back, and it's one with the bungees, baby. Welcome to Unboxing with Mr. Incredible Brody. This is going to be my second one of the day, and this is going to be another one from the legendary Red Bubble. I've had this actually for a while now, actually, and I really want to unbox this video. Not only for because what's in it, it's actually also what it's actually based on. Because um, you all know the uh, YouTuber Tamatic2009. One of my one of my like most loyal viewers out there. I want to give a shout out to you. You're amazing, buddy. And um, he actually has mentioned me a lot in his his videos. Quite a few times actually. He mentioned me in the Trixie of the Trixie Luna Moon review video he did. I even did a reaction to it, and it's really nice all the things he said to me. We have quite a few things in common, which is really cute, by the way. And his 3D printed ponies are so cute as well. I've seen all of them, and that's what made me subscribe to his channel. And then he got into my content, and I think it's because, not only because of the Battle of Island things I've been reacting to, it's also my Trixie Luna Moon plushie unboxing video thing I did. And you know what? I am very proud for that, really. And um, the opinions we've had are pretty similar. Like we both think blue is the best color. We all, we and and um, Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash are in our top three of the main six. Even the only difference is that Pinkie Pie is my personal favorite and Rainbow Dash is his personal favorite. And if it makes you, if it makes you happy, I actually have a Rainbow Dash poster up there. Actually, you see it? You can't really see it well. It's just Rainbow Dash sunbathing on a cloud. <laughs> it's it, it, it's kind of cute. <laughs> it, and I also have a keychain of her pretty cool huh look at that <laughs> yeah so um but in but there is something he mentioned in one of his um 3d printed of ponies actually he said he mentioned me about um my favorite filly of the show and if you know who that is then i don't need to mention it but i'm gonna unbox this thing to show you what i got and yes i do prefer her starlight glimmer over twilight sparkle personally i just find her more interesting and overall she's just better really <laughs> and more attractive okay it's just just is my opinion really yeah. i present to you viewers my very new mouse pad silver spoon right there and it uh, has, and it not only has her Q mark, but this really cute like design. It's almost like a Christmas wreath actually, but like silver with a spoon in the middle right there. Even has her name to prove that. And ah, oh, I love how things smell when you first get it. When you get a new book for the first time, viewers always smell it. It's really satisfying to smell really. Even my dad, that's how my dad got me into books was the smell of books. So <laughs> I think even Twilight likes the smell of books. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But yeah, as you should know this, viewers, Silver Spoon is personally my favorite filly. And I'm actually going to make this video a little bit dedicated to her and explain why she's my pers personally my favorite. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a plushie of her. I don't have a t-shirt of her, which is fine by me. I think a mouse pad with her name on it is good enough, really. Also, I have cereal in the morning every day and I use a Silver Spoon to scoop it out and then dig, dig, dig it in my mouth. So what else can I say, really? But yeah, let me explain why Silver Spoon is personally Incredible Bronies' favorite filly of the show. Now, I know a lot of Bronies would say Apple Bloom is best, or Scootaloo, or Sweetie Belle, which is even understandable. Some could even say, I don't know, oh, a twist even. That would be crazy. That would make me yell, what a twist! I personally don't mind twists. I think she's really cute. Her lisp is cute. <laughs> and I think she's related to Fleetfoot. How much would I bet she's Fleetfoot's sister? Because Fleetfoot's got a lisp as well. Remember in um, Rainbow Falls, she kind of had that lisp? We'll see you in the air, Rainbow Dash, if you're lucky. Is that just me? I don't know, it's just me. What do you think, Tamarack 2009? Please tell me. But yes, here is the reasons why Silver Spoon is personally my favorite filly. It's because when I was a kid, when I was like about um, 11 or 12 years old, there was this bully in my school who was basically the Diamond Tiara of my school. And during primary school, I actually befriended that bully because I didn't want to get bullied. So what I did was befriend the bully so... I didn't get bullied, which was smart, but that was not smart because that means I had to be a bully. So I had to literally insult all my personal real friends and other people that I didn't want to insult. And every time I didn't, the bully got mad with me and then insulted me. So even the bully insults his friends. So that's just sad. And that's what Diamond Tiara does. Like, I know Silver Spoon is her friend, but she's not actually a bully. She actually, I bet you she befriended her just so she can't get bullied. It's Diamond Tiara who's got her kind of fucked up family with spoiled rich and filthy rich just 
you know, she's a spoiled brat. And I know her mom told her to be mean, but I still hated Diamond Tiara's guts throughout seasons one through five until she reformed, of course. But we never see her again, which is sad. So I don't really know if I do like her anymore now that I think about it, because we never see her again other than, spoiler alert, in the season nine finale when we see her in her grown up form. Like, I don't know. And I think Twist is with them as well. It's really cool. But yeah, Silver Spoon, on the other hand, I think she's really cute. Like, grey is a cute colour. Her glasses, like Tamati 2009 said, remind him of Roz from Monsters, Inc., which is amazing. Always watching. And, um, I really, I just think her voice is adorable as well, really. Like, she, you can even tell she's not trying to be, but she's trying to impress Diamond Tiara, or as she says, is die. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I related to Silver Spoon on a personal level, because when Diamond Tiara was so mean to her in Crusaders of the Lost Mark, which was the episode, spoiler alert, where the Cutie Mark Crusaders get their Cutie Marks, of course. Um, she, like, made Silver Spoon feel really bad for herself, and then Silver Spoon decided to vote for Pipsqueak as Student Pony President, and what do you know, she, like, completely dissed Diamond Tiara's guts. Like, she was like, uh, no, I didn't vote for you. You could have actually won this election if you listened to me. You want to know how? Sorry, I'm not allowed to speak. Oh, that scene completely made my day. I love that moment in My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. It's probably, it's actually my favorite part in that episode, honestly. Not the part where the Cutie Mark says, get the Cutie Mark. Like, that was amazing too. But that moment with Silver Spoon, oh boy, I was like yelling, I love you, Silver Spoon, I love you. I still do to this day, honestly. And that's why she's my personal favorite filly, because I remember standing up to myself as well against the bully. I won't be your friend if you're going to insult me too, if you're my friend, really. That's what I told him back then, and I promised myself I'll never befriend another bully. So when watching My Little Pony for the first time, I was like, oh, Silver Spoon, I feel you. So yeah, um, whenever I watch, so whenever I look back at seasons one through five, I just see myself in Silver Spoon's hoofs. I don't know, because they don't wear shoes, so. Horseshoes? I don't know. <laughs> Trying to make sense here, viewers. But that's honestly the reason why Silver Spoon is personally my favorite filly of the show. Like, you can argue against me. I don't care. But she's just got such a cute voice. Her design is cute. Her mane is lovely. The glasses are great. Just everything about her is just... It's just it's just cute. I really like her. And again, like I said, I related to her for befriending a bully. And if that isn't enough, she's actually voiced by Shannon Chan Ken, who is the singing voice for Pinkie Pie, who is the best pony in my opinion. So... I don't know, it's just, everything she does to me, in my opinion, is a is a thumbs up for me. The only time I didn't like her was, of course, the episode of season three, when Diamond Tiara got Babsy, the cousin of Apple Bloom, to be a bully with them, which really upset me. That's the only time I was not a fan of Silver Spoon, but every other episode, she seems like she's just trying to impress Diamond Tiara. But yeah, in the end, there you go. This is my mouse pad of her name and her cutie mark on it. I deserve this really, and I'm really proud to own it. So thank you all viewers. And also comment down, who's your favorite affiliate of the show and why exactly? And also please check out Tamati2009. He's amazing. I love you, buddy. And I will see you all in the next unboxing video. But if you like this particular video, leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. Follow me on Instagram, link down below. Also, people watching this, stay hydrated, kids. And until then, stay positive, keep calm, stay safe, be incredible. And as always, brony on. Peace.